What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 16 of our Pokemon Sun and Moon Blind Let's Play. We just finished Route 5, and we are heading off now into Brooklet Hill, uh, which I think is the next part of the Island Challenge. So we're on the back of our uh, of our Stoutland. We see what appears to be a former Team Aqua member. Lana, hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklet Hill. You look like an able-bodied trainer. Could I ask for your help with something? Sure. I like how both the answers were sure. It was sure and uh, sure. Uh, sure is what you say when you're like, you want them to know that you're a nice guy and are going to do it for them, but you don't want them to feel good about having asked you, which is a real dick move. That's a real dick way to answer things. Someone asks you to do something, you go, uh, sure. It's like, I get it. With reservations. With reservations. Uh, Repel's effect wore off. Let's not use one right now. Uh, this guy appears to be a trainer. Let's fight. I want to fight him because he's a fisherman, and early fisherman battles, sometimes they actually give you a rod afterwards. And I know I need to catch a Feebass as part of the side quest in this area he's got a barboach i can't remember if he gains the ground type as whiskash or if he starts off as groundwater so bubble beam will help me find that out if it's neutral he's water ground he's water ground there's your answer lady and gentlemen Goldeen, Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen, 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 Goldeen. Let's go with, uh... Bugnitude, you're in. Ooh, Goldeen learns Peck. That's okay, because I learned Spark. Really? You're gonna go with the supersonic? Come on. Good. That's a two hit KO. Water pulse. Oh, that's gonna hit hard. No, it doesn't. But I snapped out of confusion. She's got supersonic and water pulse. Two different confuse moves. The Bugnitude earned that. Gruffers got to 19. Lil P grew to 26. C Badskit got to 18. You're not going to give me a rod? That's why I battled you. What good is a net ball if you can't even get the Pokemon to. If they don't even want to battle them, what's. You know? So we got a grassy knoll here. What's Brooklet Hill got to offer? If it's more new Pokemon... No, nah, it's just a Psyduck. I mean, I, I don't own a Psyduck yet, so I'm going to have to catch it. But um, it's not a new Pokemon. Alright, Psyduck. Get caught, Psyduck. Bugnitude back up to 18. We're making moves, Bugnitude. I expect you to evolve soon. Because you are a 3 evolution. You're going to evolve 3 times, I think. And you're level 18 now, so I can only imagine. Psyduck's not going to get a nickname. It's just going to go straight to the box. 18 is a good level to evolve, don't you think? No, you disagree with me. What else we got in this grass? Side Ducky, Paris, another Pokemon I don't have. So let's change that. There we go. Paris getting added to the decks. 
I got paralyzed in the process, so maybe it's time to move little P off of uh, off of entry roll. We got number 147. Not giving a nickname, and you're going to the... Oh, shoot. Did I take the... Uh, I was just clicking B too quickly, but I saw that it said that he's carrying a little mushroom, and I, or a tiny mushroom, and I don't know whether or not I neglected to take it from him or succeeded in taking it from him. So what did we see there? We caught a, a water type and a bug type. Bug grass. Uh, I don't have any grass types here. But I gotta level up Sea Bad Skit and Bugnitude. I really need to level up Bugnitude. So, but Bugnitude's not very strong. I don't know. Let's try and Sea Bad Skit. No, because Sea Bad Skit is literally the worst Pokemon I could put there. Ooh, Lillipup, perfect. Okay, so I needed one more I needed one more Lillipup to make that trade that we saw back at the uh, back at the home base. No nickname for Lillipup here. Just a fresh catch. Put in the box, and uh, we can go turn in that quest once we're done with Brooklet Hill here. Get to the top, we find Lana. Do you see that? Do you see? Bigger splashing. Wouldn't be surprised to find a fearsome Pokemon is the one that's causing it. So brief, trial girl. I'd ask you to investigate the splashing there and find out exactly what's causing it. I won't ask you to swim, of course. I have a lovely gift for you instead. Ooh, Lapras the Ride Pager. So is this... Are Ride Pagers the game's way of removing the need for HMs? Oh my god, I think it is. Got a couple more trainers here to finish off. Uh, I'm going to rush through these real quick. I'm, I'm probably going to cut the video around it unless there's a particularly interesting fight, though. So I returned back to um, to the Poke Center here, the PMC, and because uh, I wanted to trade the Lillipup that I caught earlier for a Bon Sweet. Bonsoir Lillipup. Let's trade. Okay, what's Bon Sweet? Kihei is going to get my little pup. And in return... It's a little... It's got a little grass, uh... Looks like a little fruit. Bouncy. The Bon Sweet. Let's get this added to the decks and figure out what we got here. It's a grass type Pokemon that what? It's, it's Trivolution, tri number 171. Pure grass. Although it's too sugary for human consumption, Bound Sweet Sweat can be watered down into a juice with just the right amount of sweetness. Well, if you water it down because it's too sweet, of course it's going to... Bon Sweet, a 
tree evolution. I'm gonna have to Man, make some moves. I got a lot of Pokemon to evolve here. Okay, we're back to where we were. Can I jump on these rocks? Is that kind of the point? No? Uh, then I just, I hop on Lapras, right? If you hold B, Lapras just kind of floats, dances a little bit in the water. Oh, I see, but it does, does swim faster. I simply can't suppress the curiosity welling up within me. That's why I would appreciate it if you would investigate those splashes in the water. Okay, so she doesn't want me to explore too much. She just wants me to go straight to the splash. And some of the fish swum down. Leaving one remaining splashing zone. And what is it? Oh, wishy-washy! It's a fishy fishy-washy. Level 17. About my level, so Spark shouldn't kill it even though it's super effective. It's not Stab. It did kill it. Come on. Are you kidding me? I was dropping Sparks on level 14 Fletchenders and they were... Even a little wishy-washy can make such big waves. Man, I'm really disappointed. Uh, we're going to turn off Repel because there might be a Feebas here. And, uh, and I want one. But we got to revive. Man, I'm uh, I'm so disappointed in that. I was like sure that there wasn't going to be an issue and I was going to be able to catch that Pokemon. What? Lana forgot my name? That's weird. Another splash. Another suspicious bit of splashing. Don't let the droplets get on me, please. So she doesn't want me to go any deeper into this zone. She wants me to just go to the splashing. Let's see if it's a wishy-washy again. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is, it is. So I'll have another chance to catch this one. Wow, that was one of the that was probably one of the longest captures I've done on just a random Pokemon in a long time. Long, long time. They just kept calling in reinforcements. And by the time I started throwing Pokeballs, it was just taking forever. But Wishy Washy, very cute water type. Uh, looks like non-evolving. Just a weak, weak. Awfully weak and notably fast, so everyone's always out to get it. As it happens, anyone trying to bully it really receives a painful lesson, but it's weak. I don't really get it. I don't, but that's now complete. It began to rain, so it was another wishy-wash kicking up the water. How unfortunate it wasn't a strapping young swimmer. Even more splashing. Go investigate it, she says. Let's, uh, 
finish up this over here. Alright, so we just got Bugnitude to level 20. And uh, Grubbin's about to evolve. And he's This guy's got such a great move pool, so I'm really excited to see what he kind of becomes. Uh, whether or not he's just going to get a lot bigger. What? Charge a bug. <gasps> oh my god, guys. I think he I think he really is going to be an electric bug type. Let's get some data in this Pokedex. Charge a bug. It is this bug electric. That's such great typing. I love it. Wants to learn the move charge, but sorry, his move pool is already pretty sweet. Can't afford it. Keep the old moves. Man, that's cool. Finally, a bug type that's better equipped to take on. Uh, to take on. Flying types. So here they're talking about Kyogre. It was only a joke. What? You're talking about Kyogre. Kyogre's real. Lana's kind of mean. We're going all the way into Brooklet Hill? I don't know about this. I've got a bad feeling. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's save here. Make this a two-parter. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.